You're now listening to the Something Good Podcast Network. Please press any key to continue. And welcome to this week's edition of the Couch Brotatoes. I'm Alex. This is Cap Morse. And this week, actually, is this the first guest we've had on Couch Brotatoes? I, I think, think we had so. Mikey, maybe. Uh, we'll Mikey have to doesn't check count. our archives yeah, on Mikey that. Couch Potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, because he's got a snowfall episode. The, the first <laughs> real official guest yeah, we've ooh, had, and it's, and it's and it's especially official because he's come all the way from the Discord. At least that's what we'll say for this time for this <laughs> for this episode. We got Paul with us. Howdy, sir. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for having me, Paul of Rhodes course. from Sunday Boxing. Yes, 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 yes. Take a look out for that something good episode dropping. Uh, well, actually, that would have already dropped. So yeah, take a listen to that. It's already out there. But no, uh, if you guys pay attention to the Discord, Paul has been probably the most vocal and kind of going good episode but yes and i love it because it's engagement and it actually shows that you know folks are listening which means thank you and two you know it always gives us fresh content so i figured we'd have you on here just kind of talk about some shit that we missed because i can never keep up <laughs> yeah give us a performance review yeah no on the mic <laughs> no 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 so but but uh even most recently let's see we dropped our uh south park episode but i feel mm. like uh the episodes that you were really vocal on were like the 80s action yeah. and stuff like that was that the kind of stuff that you grew up with liking and totally. things like that yeah totally um I mean, you guys talked about a bunch of that stuff, though, but even, like, the early 90s stuff, like, T2's still, like, one of my favorites. Oh, God, yeah. So, <laughs> and you guys talked about that quite a bit, and there was well, we some can always stuff. retread, because we've got, sure. a, we've got extra people with us, and yeah. it's fresh perspectives, and, you know, who knows, maybe it's a sec- section that we'll bring up in that we didn't think on before yeah. uh so for me i can remember early on like star wars being those early movies i latched on to what was one of yours like the ghostbusters first, ghostbusters yeah. okay and back to the future like okay. the, i think ghostbusters okay. might have been the first movie i saw actually in the theater and yeah i just totally yeah. grabbed onto that so yeah, it's miller time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that movie's fantastic and awesome. then this is when i do my uh usual i have actually i think i've only seen the original once and it was <laughs> back when i was a kid yeah oh. I, i've not caught that in years yeah. i was never a big ghostbusters guy either really? like the first yeah. time i watched it was this is, Ed- this, is, this is what i deal with <laughs> yeah right this is what i deal with this is what I, they bring me in for horror shit the king of the hill then after that it just goes off the fucking rails uh-huh. <laughs> That's all we're Why don't you forward. like the Misfits? Why do you like that? Why do you like that? Yeah, go fuck yourself. <laughs> ah, dude, Ghostbusters is almost a perfect movie. It is. And, yeah. And that and, uh, like comedy future. wise, yeah. Oh, like, dude, so funny. I think my so. problem was like the first time I watched it, it was on Comedy Central, and even then it was like oh, childhood. Yeah yeah, 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 totally. Yeah, you got to see the original, definitely. So, <laughs> you, what, yeah. what'd you think I, about I know the, I wouldn't have wound up catching the original. I would have only been able to see the TV one. TV one. Yeah. I just also remember being very influential by my parents at that age, mm-hmm. and I remember mom didn't like the Michelin Man. Okay. Because it reminded her <laughs> of, of the Stay Puft Marshmallow yeah. Man. Yeah. And she said that weirded her out. So hearing that, I had the impression. I'm like, ew, no, that dude's weird yeah. looking. I don't like him. I, I could see that. No, nobody, nobody think nobody think of anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, exactly. What, what and you're then a Stay Puft Marshmallow Show. Yeah. <laughs> Like I'm trying to think what, he, what Ray says there. He's like, uh, no, I messed up or something like that. But, but, well, he's got what that did cigar- you do, Ray? He's got, that cig- uh, he's got the <laughs> cigarette hanging out of his mouth. Uh, yeah. Ray? He's, he's Ray? Got, Ray. Ray. <laughs> he's, Ray. Got, he's got anxiety and his mind is racing. Fucking shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That'd be terrifying for me. No, I loved uh, Back to the Future. Yes. I, yeah. I had a, a taped... Uh, version of it. Yeah. It was just a, a TV version of it that my mom had, and uh, she, you know, introduced to me and my brother when we were like fifteen or yeah. whatever. And I just remember I've seen it a zillion times since then. Mm-hmm. Uh, not the the first time I saw it though was a TV edit for like the nineteen like mid nineties or something like sure, that. Sure. And uh, <laughs> the funniest part is when uh, uh, when uh, the Biff lines when he comes in and he comes up to Michael J. Fox <laughs> oh, and he's yeah. like, "You cost fifteen hundred like 500 bucks damage to my car, you son of a butthead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to take it out on your high. It's yeah. like, 
It's like that's not what they said. You see him like actually like, mouthing ass on the fucking TV. It's and all so that bizarre too. though that those. I, I think. I mean, both Ghostbusters and Back to the Future were both rated PG, and you yeah. have like the son of a bitch dropped in there. You have uh, this whole situation in Ghostbusters where I don't know if it's supposed to be a dream sequence or something, but it's like part of oh, a yeah, montage. He gets, blow, he gets blown yeah, by, blow by a ghost. ghost. Yeah, <laughs> like it's all. It's so weird. It's like, so weird. It's, it's a kids cool, movie. Like, just Dan Aykroyd yeah. getting blown by. Let's a ghost. just put it in there. Yeah. I don't so think, I don't he did think write the original script. I'll have to look this up, but I want to say the first. A uh, movie that got the PG-13 uh, rating was like a uh, Temple of Doom from Indiana okay. Jones. Okay. Let me verify that. I could see that. Oh, the Cali Ma fucking ref- Yeah, oh. where he's like rips the yeah. dude's fucking heart out. That yeah. fucked with me for yeah. the longest time, too, when I was a little kid. I love those movies as well. So I know Alex I has too. mentioned before with the way for him to get They're back right. to defend just, himself. But uh, I remember somebody uh, I, I keep, uh, who was a big fan of Indiana Jones. I remember uh-huh. I was fucking with him one time. Uh, he had just got done with a tour. Okay. And he, he saw me at the end of the tour. He got him yeah. busting out the RV. He's like, hey, man. Yeah. We've been watching fucking Indiana Jones yeah. on the ride over. He's like, what's your favorite? And just to piss him off, I said, Crystal Skull. <laughs> he's like, what? I never saw it. <laughs> like, yeah. he's like, I've seen, dude, the, I've seen the first three. Yeah, I don't give a shit about those movies. But that's like, a trilogy. Oh, now, those movies to, are great, man. Now, but to me, uh, the fucking um, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark is still like my, one of my all-time favorite yeah. movies. That just the, turned I love, 40. I, love, I know I was talking about like anniversaries. They just did like some retrospective on that recently. So yeah, yeah. I like yeah. the I like the, like the puppetry work on it with the melted faces and everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah that's still, that still awesome. holds up. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like Jurassic Park. I mean, it still holds up. I was like, no that's, just, like, that's just the magic of like Stip Spielberg and you know Lucas at the time, like knowing what they were doing too. Even though Lucas was like a producer and like writers and all those movies too. Still like you know if you had them on board, it always like you know. Makes it look good, except for like the fucking prequel Star Wars movies. But we've already yeah. done like several <laughs> podcasts on that. Yeah, why, why some of them suck? Yeah, they're all fucking. Uh, I hate. Then we wrote our own Star Wars movie. Yeah, <laughs> I haven't seen any of the new ones. So really? I've seen one they're of them. Okay. So they, they, I saw not... the prequels, of course. Yeah. But like, yeah, the know. first one's fun. You yeah, know, I've, I've, in the first couple of viewings, a lot because of, it's like a lot of intro to new characters. Yeah. Got eighty six some old ones. But there was like the uh, yeah, really. There was the uh, is that Rogue Joke? One? Is it the first? Uh, Rogue One's pretty good. Yeah, Rogue that's One's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. But uh, so, I still haven't seen it. Force yeah. Awakens. Okay. Is, is okay. That's the one I'm talking about. The gotcha, first gotcha. Rogue Awake. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I almost said the Rogue Awakens, but no. <laughs> But no, The Force Awakens is kind of like uh, like a, like how they joke about it on South Park. It's like a Happy Days reunion episode. Okay. But uh, I remember we, uh, me and Alex, me and Alex were in West Virginia. We saw the last movie, and yeah. I kept telling them like during these movies when they're being made, I kept telling Alex, I was like, dude, they're going to kill this one character. I swear to God, they're going to kill this one character. <laughs> and then they finally do it. Yeah. Okay. In the third movie, and I'm just like in a room full of Star Wars fans. And like this character dies, I'm like, yes! <laughs> like under my breath, like, yeah! And like, no one's <laughs> then, ever really gone. No, I was like, <laughs> no. But like, I kind of just like felt like the room closed up just a little bit. Like, you piece of shit. You rooted for this motherfucker to die. It was, uh, can we say who it was or do you care about I don't, this? Yeah, point? I don't care. Yeah, it was C3PO. We're like, oh. uh, what? <laughs> But he doesn't I, die at the end. Like, well, no, it, was like a, it was Chewy. Well, him too. Both of them yeah, had their like really, almost they just, like eighty six moments. Yeah. yeah, basically. <laughs> but no one's ever really gone. No, I was like, but <laughs> Chewie's was like super early on, so I was just kind of sitting there going like, oh, whatever, he's coming back. Back at <laughs> that back at uh, that back ass racist comment they make with uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's his name? What? Lando. Oh, Lando being the bastard father of that chick. Yeah, <laughs> and it's just like really. That's how you're gonna write that character. I to, guess uh, the only black guy in space is gonna be a shitty father who dips on a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe I do need to see these movies. I don't know. Yeah, but like if you watch, in. like you watch him as like a fan, yeah. and you're just like, "What the fuck yeah. are you doing?" And by the time that movie came out, I was just sitting there going, "Like, uh, I guess that's cool," yeah. you know. It's for the other generation. I'm. I'm happy the shows are still kicking. Mm. Yeah, the it's kind of like the shows are more be- are better anyway. It's kind of like Star Wars was great. Yeah, so. it's kind of like Star Trek. There's always going to be like new versions of it and new. See, uh, I like the new Star Trek movies. Mm-hmm. I'm a big Trek fan. I like the uh, I like watching the old '80s ones, like the the, the ones that they adapted. You know, in, it was like long after the series. Yeah, the, the, course the, and all the, that too. The but Wrath of Khan's a good fucking movie. Oh god, movie. it's great. Carlo Montalban with his fake chest. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. I thought he was like legit Jack like that for a minute. Yeah, uh, Clarence Williams <laughs> the third is in that one. Uh, Kirstie Alley's in that one. She yeah. plays a Vulcan. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of there's uh Kelsey Grammer's in it. Well, they got Kelsey, a lot of people they got a lot of people from Cheers yeah, no shit. to show up in that fucking movie. It, and what Star Trek movie is this? Uh Wrath of Khan, number okay, three. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I just never the, got into them. No, Not Star was, Trek or Star Wars, really. Really? So, yeah. Never, so you liked all the uh, time travel stuff and uh, or like Ghostbusters? Uh, yeah, Ghost, I mean, I, I guess the first more, three movies, I, I mean, and then I saw the prequels in the theater when they first came out. And you just kind of dipped after that. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, never yeah, got, yeah, yeah. never latched on to, especially Star Trek, though. I never latched on to that at all. Uh, Star Wars so. was my first uh, big thing. Well, it was my second big thing. My first big thing was fucking uh, Kaiju and Godzilla and okay. all that. Then it, yeah. it, then it got into Star Wars hardcore. So yeah. it was like the, uh, the special edition shit. It came out on VH1. The Kaiju, one. The Kaiju, ones, are always, rather. The Kaiju yeah. ones are always fun because it just reminds me of Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because it's always fucking just like... Yeah, people in suits. Yeah, fake yeah. cities <laughs> being blown the fuck up. Yeah. Sparklers everywhere. It's cool. It's very... I yeah, never cool. got into Power Rangers, though, because... Yeah, like, you would love it. <laughs> well, no, that's the, that's the thing, too. It's one thing I figured figured out when I was a kid where it's like, I didn't, uh, I didn't like uh, people characters in Kaiju movies and I didn't mm-hmm. like robots. No. Okay. For some yeah. reason, I didn't like robots. The robot... I thought the robots were cool because it kind of gave like a... Uh, Oh, I know I'm piss off a lot of people when I say it, because um, I hate it. Um, what is it? The uh, the anime cartoon from back in the '80s? Oh, Gundam Wing or whatever. No, 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 or no, Dragon no, Ball Z. No, no, no. Uh, the, well, damn, those are the <laughs> only the ones I can robot, think of. Ti- robot tigers or lions and shit that. Wasn't Voltron. That? Voltron. Voltron. Oh, I fucking hate yeah. Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> I know dick about Voltron. But I loved Power Rangers. I remember this watching it as a kid, Voltron. The 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 uh, action figures were cool as oh, shit because yeah. they could put them all together and stuff. But that's all I really remember about Voltron. That's yeah. all I remember about Power Rangers. And I never got into Power Rangers. but It was all a bunch of toys. Too but old. There was a point, like, like even Power Ranger fans, if they're listening, like, will remember, like, there's three episodes that just scare the shit out of everybody because the green guy shows up and the car's kicking their ass. Oh, talking about the guy that had, like, the dragon uh, yeah. fucking... Yeah, the, the, guy, that's, that dragon guy, that, shit. the guy actually who knows martial arts and does UFC. Yes. <laughs> he showed up and started whooping their ass, and it's like, oh, shit, is he going to kill these people in front of us? <laughs> like, and then he shows up, he got, he's got, like, a dragon, kind of like a Godzilla-type yeah. robot, and he starts kicking their ass that way, and it's just like, damn, he's badass. I remember they did a parody on the fucking uh, on Power Rangers before where it's... Uh, a fucking lobster, you yeah. know, character fighting the Power Rangers. <laughs> yeah. And the, and the fucking parody is like this dude just doing a bad dub of him going like, hey, y'all what it is, motherfucker? This is Gangsta Grizzly! <laughs> that kind of shit. Well, uh, uh, Brian Cranston dressed up as a monster in one of those movies. He sure did. I remember that making really? the rounds yeah. when fucking Breaking Bad blew and up. And there's like huh. a bunch, there is a bunch of those where they had to like redo the same character because Japan has a weird, weird versions of monsters that show up in the original. Huh. Like they have a uh, like a robot that looks like a Nazi he drove with a chainsaw. <laughs> I don't remember that <laughs> because America wouldn't allow that shit because he has a giant swastika on his fucking chest. Yeah, <laughs> really. Because Japan is weird. Huh. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Very much indeed. But yeah, fucking uh, Red Dawn was the first uh, movie that came out that got the uh, PG thirteen rating. Huh. Fucking Red Dawn. Wolverines, man. Well, yeah, that, I never the, saw the, Red Char- Dawn. That's Charlie Sheen and um, Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Patrick Swayze, was, Charlie yeah. Sheen, and um, Jennifer Grey's in there. Jennifer Grey. Yeah. Um, fuck the dad. Uh, Lord when did that come out? Like eighty six, eighty four. Uh, when did that come out? Let me get rid of my thing. It's definitely doing the radio. Nineteen eighty four. There yeah. you go. Yeah, so it was kicking ass, man. So Temple of Doom would have been eighty five, I believe. Yeah, probably Nukes right around in every there. state in a jelly bean. Oh, no, in every Temple, house. Temple of Doom would have been later than that. Oh no, that was uh, nineteen eighty four as well. So huh. they were kind of on that uh, on that whole uh. On that whole wave of uh, you know, I we, love can, uh, we can we can we can bring uh, we can bring our uh, kids in here, you <laughs> yeah. know. We can t- have a whole uh, date with them. We can find some edgy shit in the movie theaters to watch with our kids. Yeah. Have you ever done the plot of Red Dawn? Uh, no. Let me, let me explain it very carefully. <laughs> the Russians, Nicaraguans, show up into the United States and do a land invasion in Colorado. And guess what? High school's filmed there. Columbine? Yep. That's the school they film at <laughs> on oh Red Dawn yeah. for, a, that. for a American Revolution versus the commies movie. Oh God. And the kids all... take them on. Yeah, the kids take so. them on. <laughs> that's when all that that's when all Patrick that Patrick Swayze off. bites it. He gets killed in the movie. Huh. Really? Yeah, if you if you ever watch the movie, he gets killed in that movie. And it's like one of the few movies where he's ever died in a movie. Kind of, he's that's, kind of like, that, like John Wayne. That's a uh, a movie that you guys missed. Not not Red Dawn, but uh, talking about action films is uh, freaking Roadhouse, man. Oh man, <laughs> you have no idea, dude, dude, dude. If I, I had have you pos- not seen Roadhouse, I have not seen Roadhouse. Oh, dude, fucking the double dudes. Right you, you, you need to get on that. You need to get on that right now. Sam he rips a dude's him, throat dude. out. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, this. So, he takes so his hands like this and. Whew, Patrick uh, Swayze does. Yes, yes. yes. he rips the dude's throat out. I know. Everybody goes back to Parks and Rec too. Goes back to Parks and Rec. Where, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, I don't remember a Swayze reference in Park. Oh, but it was an election night where he's trying to explain the TV went out and he's explaining movies. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> he's explaining he, movies. Yes. Yeah, and he, like, he everyone reenacts like, the whole thing. He reenacts all of Roadhouse in front of these people and everybody's like, shh, shh, shut the fuck up. He's explaining Roadhouse. Yeah. <laughs> 
And like, but there's this part where he's fighting this asshole. And he reaches up, it grabs a dude's throat, and rips the skin and yeah. the muscle right it's here, gnarly. and just rips it the fuck out. Like out by and, some lake. And yeah, yeah, it's beside a lake, and it's like some weird, like Bruce uh, Lee type fucking fight. I think, scene. I think it was Sam Elliott's house just just yeah. got blown up or yeah, some Sam shit Elliott like that. Got his yeah. ass I, don't, I don't want to spoil it anymore. You got to see that movie. I know. I think you're not going to spoil this that. movie. It's, it's a fucking action movie. I was like, if anything, I should, I should, like, I should do better and you know have this in, ingrained in my psyche because I had best friends in college that fucking love that movie. Like yeah. somebody legit got a roadhouse. Got a the roadhouse like you know a portrait of like that stupid ass photo of all of them together with like the blue uh, backdrop yeah. or whatever where it looks like a fucking high school prom photo yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking roadhouse man yeah, yeah. He, Swayze had a bunch of good movies around that time I love um, fucking Point Break that's that's one of my that's talking about movies to latch on to that was one of my Brody. favorites <laughs> it is so fucking ridiculous I love that movie but it's so great yeah. fucking Gary Busey man Gary yeah. Busey wrong. too Utah <laughs> give me two you know? what does he say to him he's like listen to me you little shit what, what does he say to him it was about uh, it was like oh. a war- I was uh, doing such and such in, in uh, Nam when you were like crapping your pants or yeah. whatever yeah um, I'm trying to think of the the sergeant now he was in that uh, I never watched it but Scrubs yeah. Um, oh, fucking uh, Dr. Cox. Yes, yes. I don't know what his name is. Yeah, McKinnon. but he, yeah. Yeah, that's what it was. That's what it He's is. Like, I know how the you are. are young, are dumb, and full of cum. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was in uh, The Rock as well, playing yeah. the same, basically the He's same the, character. Yeah, yeah well, that's where he got to start with. He was like bad guy number two. Yeah, always bad guy number two. Or, I, I love Policeman The Rock, number five. That's another good one. The Rock's is another fun Dude, dumb that's in the movie. fucking Criterion Collection. <laughs> is it really? No shit. That's great. Michael Bay has a movie in the Criterion Collection. Yeah, dude. It is that's so awesome. the top movies that like, change cinema. Uh, the is, Rock is one of them. That, that's just one of those like uh, you know that style of like action movie was just like permeated throughout the like the late nineties, early two thousands. I movie, hated the majority. If of you them. watch that movie and then watch Con Air, I would argue that's a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, the, old, the way the music is yes how like how desperate it yeah, gets I've never at the thought end. of that before it's That's like how funny. weird it's filmed and everything uh, yeah basically yeah. Con Air is so fucking fun too Con Air is a great movie we've talked about how like stacked that cast is yes. before oh you couldn't remake yeah. that cast no, no. Uh, John Malkovich Danny Trejo when he was young yeah uh, younger Steve Buscemi yeah Steve yeah, Buscemi yeah. Uh, yeah. oh the uh, Bubba from fucking Forrest Gump. Gump, yeah, can't Nicholas think of his Cage, name. But. John Malkovich, uh, Ving Rhames, Ving Rhames, yeah, he was in every yeah, fucking nineties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, was he not in fuck? He wasn't in fuck. He wasn't in the Rock. John, uh, John no. Cusack was in it. John Cusack, yeah. Dave Chappelle, <laughs> Eight Ball. <laughs> yep. Hey, what happened to Eight Ball? Man, fuck him. <laughs> what up, Chief? <laughs> yep. Uh, what was another one? Uh, great action. Uh, did you ever see Tango and Cash? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's I a saw Tango and Cash. That was like that's that was, kind. Of, it's kind of a B action movie from it is, probably the early nineties. Top tier actors. In yeah, it. it's got Kurt Russell and um, Stallone. 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 Yeah, and uh, Terry Hatcher. Yep. Terry, Terry, she oh plays. The, she plays the sister of uh, Stallone, I think. Yeah, and yeah. they're just and like what's funny is like Kurt Russell's like the crazy cop. Yeah, and yeah, Stallone he's the, yeah, is like he's the, the well dressed, like clean. Yeah. Even though this dude had just finished like Rambo three. Yeah, <laughs> he's still I just like, always remember yoked. that scene where they uh, they I guess they get framed. Yeah, they I get framed. Right, yeah, and they go to jail and. They escape from jail, but there's one scene where like they take their belts off and like go across yeah, this zip like line zip line to the rain. Like, yeah. It's, it's yeah, it's very action. And they make they uh, make Sylvester still look like a nerdy just cop, mm-hmm. yeah, but he's still just that. like still yoked twelve from pack. Rambo <laughs> yeah, from Rambo one and two yeah. and three. <laughs> Dude, yeah, Rambo, those Rambo movies, yeah, too. Like Rambo two is like when he got like super yes. fucking. That, that, like, that's when he was up. doing uh, Rocky three, I think, okay. around that same time. That's when he got super jacked. Uh, because he would do that thing where he would suck in his gut, and you could see like the rib lining and the muscles around the ribs. Mm-hmm. But I, I, we did a podcast. He was talking about Rambo too, and I talk about that part where he just grabs the mic, and he's talking to. He's like, "Of course, sir." You like lightning striking and shit. It's like the cinematography is fucking hilarious because it's just like God is helping this motherfucker escape the communists. Yeah, that's one of those. I want to fight Vietnam again. <laughs> That's one of those weird characters where, like, uh, the tone on the first movie is like a legit Vietnam vet with yeah. PTSD, yeah, totally and like, like that. Based on the, in the book, the book is based on he dies, he kills yeah. himself, and it's like, mm. and there that was the other that's the deleted scene from the original movie is mm. like he does kill himself. But then uh, you know everything else after that is like him being basically a cartoon character. Yep. Yeah. A, a fucking. Has anyone seen the new one? I haven't seen. I, have, I, haven't, yeah. no. it, I heard it's bru- Yeah, I heard it's, it's really brutal. brutal. It's like, yeah. Dude, it's a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> that one that came out what 10, 15 years ago was like that too. Oh yeah, when really? he's in uh, Myanmar, yeah, mm-hmm. in Burma. Huh. Yeah, he got he, he's a. 
So uh, number three happened where he liberated Afghanistan yeah. from the Russians. <laughs> I just want everybody to let that know that. He fought with the Mujahideen and the Taliban. God. Fuck yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's the 80s where like Russia was public enemy number one. Yeah. Especially in every fucking movie in that time period, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, Ravs. Uh, Russian Arab villains. Yeah. Who smoke. <laughs> I'm no, trying to think of the the Hot Shot uh, movies like Perry, oh, Perry oh, that really well. <laughs> they, uh, it was Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part, part Two. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Again, that's the only time I ever saw those movies. Charlie on, Sheen, Emilio Estevez, and all them. Yeah, the only time I ever saw those movies was on fucking Comedy Central at two o'clock oh, in the afternoon. Yeah, just yeah. cut the shit. Yeah, yeah. They had to. Man. It's, 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 yeah. There's a lot of stuff that's really cartoony in that movie, though. But yeah. um, in both of them, I kind of like, both hilarious. What I like about Rambo is like it's really cut. It's not cut up as much. When you first like first blood, it's not cut up. No. When you watch it on like A and uh, AMC and stuff, because that's one of those movies where like if I'm doing something and that movie's on, I'm gonna stop what I'm doing. Yeah. Like, yeah. Maybe fold some clothes and just keep watching. Like hell yeah, Rambo, kick his ass. Yeah. That's more suspenseful than anything. It too. is. It is because he's like hiding up in the fucking mountains and the trees and shit. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a great movie. I love what he just gets that sheriff. He tells that sheriff that one time he's like, "It's over, motherfucker. Just stop." And like. Brian Denny, he's like, man, fuck you, Brian Rambo. Brian Denny, I, could, I was like sitting here trying to remember. Did, he just passed away recently, didn't he? Yeah, was just like last year. Yeah. Or yeah, I just he's remember a great him. actor. Yeah, he I, was great. I just remember him from fucking Tommy Boy. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> damn, damn. Dude, that movie, man. That's one of the great comedies of, uh, especially is. of that era. We haven't talked so. about like Chris Farley, like the SNL character movies or yeah. the SNL actor movies of that time period. Well, like the 90s comedies... They're good, but like you were talking about, like Ghostbusters. Yeah, being, yeah. that Ghostbusters is a perfect comedy, mm-hmm. but so is like Caddyshack. Sure, yeah, mm-hmm. Caddyshack is no a great comedy. Um, it's perfectly written. Yeah, and it's got Kenny Loggins. So. <laughs> and the uh, but, but with like Tommy Boy, it's uh, it's all about you know Chris Farley's performance. Now, sure, Tommy Boy. Uh, uh, that's the one where he has to stop Dan Aykroyd from buying the business, right? Yeah. Yes, that's yep. what. And yep. then with David Spade, he's yep. with him. Yep. And, uh, is that the one where they do the bees? They no, get that's, no, like, that's, no in, that's the second one. That's, that's Black Sheep. Black, Black Sheep. Yeah. yeah, I love that scene. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, we're being pulled over to the cops. I have an idea. <laughs> Go with it. And they get, bees, yeah. recovery, bees. Yeah. <laughs> and the cops are like, oh, shit. <laughs> There's another scene in that movie where he gets pulled over by the cops with the nitrous leak. Yeah. Roads. Roads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoned. You are too. <laughs> I can't remember what he says though about Spade. Like he makes him get in the back and acts like he's transported in a prisoner. He's like said he was like fucking horses or something like that. It's like this is a ghost man. Yeah, he's across the state. It's I like, can't remember. Just the delivery is great. Like, I'm, I might have gone 15, 15 <laughs> yeah. over. You were going 12 or yeah, whatever it was. Seven, I think yeah. it was. Seven, seven miles seven an hour. And he pulled over the median. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, that, was like, that was back when like National Lampoon, but before that, you know, Caddyshack and stuff like that. It was like a National Lampoons really like yeah, barring like, people from SNL and mm-hmm. making a great, bunch of great like uh, what was, uh, was Animal House of course. Animal House and Vacation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, all vacation those, is such a yeah. funny fucking Yeah, movie. it really is. All those 90s ones were uh, all produced by Lauren Michaels though. Yeah, so that's when National Lampoons is going like downhill yeah. in the early 90s because you know no one was buying like magazines. Were they still making vacation movies? Were they ones behind yeah. those movies? Like the Vegas one and stuff like that? Like well, National Lampoons I, still made the yeah. Vegas like the vacation movies with Chevy Chase. Mm. Okay. And they did uh, some other they did some other stuff too but like on the side like TV shows and stuff like yeah. that. Like made for TV movies or like straight to video. Mm-hmm. But Lauren Michaels separated it and did whole movies based on characters from SNL. Yeah, yeah. And before that it was Chris Rock, David Spade, yeah, you know SNL alums getting their own shit. Yeah, well, I mean Wayne's World and um, Wayne's World was so good. There was a bunch of breakout movies though that not Wayne's World too though. <laughs> yeah, that were not very good. I'm trying to think of some of them though. But they're all based on like just skits. Yeah, like, they made, like a superstar movie. Yeah, like, I remember yeah. that with Molly Shannon. Yeah, I like Molly Shannon, but that yeah, I never saw the movie. No. The best so. one is still the Ladies Man movie. Oh, the ladies <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> Stop fucking my wife. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies man. Ooh, a lady. <laughs> With a lady. Have you seen that guy, the, the NFL ref, they call that? Uh, fuck. No, I haven't. There's this There's this guy in NFL. He's a ref. And uh, he's a well-built ref. He's yeah. a black guy, but he's older. And he's been in They're the NFL. all fucking jacked, but, the like, current NFL Yeah, refs. like Ed Hockley. Yeah. Ed Hockley's fucking massive. But uh, they call him the ladies man because that's how he talks. He's like... Okay. Offsides, Jaguars. <laughs> Offsides, Jaguars. And he's like, he, they call him the ladies' man because he talks exactly, that's his natural voice. Huh? Oh my God. And it's like, oh my that. God, I wish there would be a movie about this motherfucker. Here. To analyze your play calls and re- <laughs> and penalize the opposing teams. Yes. <laughs> they hit the quarterback, path or out. <laughs> path, path interference. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, it's a hold. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a flag. <laughs> Ooh, a flag. <laughs> but uh, the ladies' man was fun. That was that was like a made for TV one. Was it made for TV? Did you get a theatrical release? Yeah, I think it got a theatrical release. Let me, but, let me uh, double check that. But yeah, I've always seen it like that. And then Comedy Central would run with them too. Oh yeah, with all the SNL movies, they would mm. run with them because they. Uh, S, uh, Comedy Central. Uh, I would always see uh, Superstar on there. <laughs> It's such a stupid I know movie. they would send a, they would play these Night movies at the Roxbury. Like, Night, Night at the, Rocks, the Roxbury. Yeah. I never watched yeah. that one Night all the way I. through. It's, right. it's stupid. Well, the, the, the I mean not that there was a spinoff of like Corky Romero and uh, Yeah, I remember like, that. But yeah, Deuce like, Bigelow, like all those like Schneider oh God, and uh, I watched Katan, all those too. And, yeah, I That's didn't, another, I didn't yeah, watch those, about, but those are like I don't even think they're even funny. You talk about Rob Schneider, so. you talk about a guy that hides in action movies. Really? Like so many fucking movies. He's in Demolition Man. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah, he's the three in, uh, shells. Yeah, he doesn't know how to use the three shells. Yeah, uh, yeah. but he's also in Judge Dredd. I know, uh, is that the Stallone? Yeah, I, yeah, I never saw that one. Oh my either, god, yeah. that's so fucking hilarious. Yeah. I am the law. <laughs> and Stallone just like yoking his fucking muscles <laughs> in his neck. Law. I'm just like, oh my god, it's so fucking funny. And then there's a. Uh... But he, he hides in action movies as like the comic relief. Yeah. Because he's standing next to these fucking gods of the arena mm-hmm. looking motherfuckers. Yeah. I was looking at the ladies' man info and uh, it made quite a bit of money. Oh, Did yeah. it really? Yeah, I'm surprised by that. Good like, for them. It made like 10 times his budget back and then some. Huh. I love Tim Meadows. Like, Actually, check- no, I, no, my bad. My dyslexia kicked in. No, it, 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 <laughs> it lost, lost money. <laughs> it lost, yeah. It lost, lost a lot of money. money. <laughs> lost a lot of money. Lost a lot of money, actually. It made some money. I wonder, yeah, that would be a, a good trivia. Which which one of those SNL spinoffs uh, lost the most money? Probably McGruber. So, yeah. <laughs> McGruber. Oh, dude, McGruber's great, though. Oh, Val so. well, Kilmer's the bad guy. <laughs> McGruber's awesome. So I heard they were talking about doing something else with that, too. Maybe like a TV series or a yeah. spinoff or something. I don't McGruber know. McGruber was, was funny. It was just about this what, uh, what is, uh, MacGyver yeah. type character. Yep. Yeah, that's essentially But he was yeah. just, what are you going to do? Will Forte. Forte. And he would always have like a pencil and a rubber band and a staple and make like a fucking... <laughs> Bob would always go off. Yeah, Bob would always go off. He'd, he'd fail. Yeah. I like, I like the best part of that movie is like someone like loves taps his car uh-huh. and drives away and he's just like 289, 817, 289, And he starts getting like obsessive. He's, he wrote the dude's like license plate down. And he's like... And he's like and he has this little notebook he writes stuff down in. And Ryan Philippe is the other guy that's in the movie. And he grabs McGruber's sure. notebook. He's like, what the fuck has he been writing all the... And it's that license plate number over and over and <laughs> oh over. My God. Even like one page. <laughs> seven, 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 eight, eight, eight. And he's just like losing his fucking yeah, mind. Yeah, that movie's funny. But that's he has a, he's that weird fucking stereo where you just pull the fuck out. Yeah, yep. You ever the, see the, the handlebar stereos where you could just pull the stereo, oh, yeah. stereo out? Yeah, he has one of those in his car. <laughs> and he pulls it out whenever he goes somewhere so no one steals his stereo. <laughs> Uh, well, we were talking about uh, one thing that gets brought up in the Discord is uh, Stanley Kubrick movies, and uh, <laughs> that's been mentioned on the podcast a bit. This isn't going to be a Stanley Kubrick episode or anything like that. Thank but, you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he even says that like when we're like uh, talking about like having you on and everything. It's like I'm not going to have to uh, do a uh, Stanley Kubrick uh, fucking rewatch. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, uh, There's I, some of his movies I've w- rewatched quite a bit, like Spartacus and mm-hmm. Doctor Strange Love. Doctor Strange Love is a perfect movie. Yeah, that's a great flick. Because so. it has nothing to do with those other movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Full Metal Jacket I've seen a few times. Of yeah, course. That's, a great movie. that's two so. movies, technically. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You ever seen Full Metal Jacket? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, actually like, I actually prefer the second part to the yeah. first I know a lot of people love this first part. People like the first part just because, you know, like they quote fucking Arlie Ermey every, oh, all the sure. time. <laughs> He's so good. I will say, if you listen to that and work out, you are going to get buff as fuck. Oh, I bet. Because <laughs> he's just yelling at you and you're just like, oh, I don't want to be private pie. I don't want to be private pie. Thought- you move like, oh, people, fuck private pie. <laughs> Oh God! There, uh, you know, there used to be a thing going around, like on the internet, like if you could change or replace a cast with, um, with the Muppets, but keep one character, uh, that would have been that would have been oh my, my movie. Oh my God! Yes. <laughs> yeah. Just have him yelling at Kermit. It's like who's Vincent Is that D'Onofrio? You, bit? Is yeah, that's a good <laughs> Who the fuck said that? Which one of you comic club twinkle toes fuck said that? And just doing a beeline for Kermit's ass. <laughs> Fonzie was probably be uh, <laughs> what, what, what pile. What does he say as he's loading the gun? Just to, just oh, in the fucking seven. Muppet. 7.62 millimeter <laughs> full metal uh, jacket. Uh, Boom. I want to see that so bad. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure someone's done that. Like it, it has to be mixed in some Kermit the Frog. It's like yeah. Miss Piggy. Yeah. But oh, no, yeah, Miss can, you imagine, fu- can you imagine Miss Piggy as the whore in the second part? Would you fuck me, Kermit? I would think about me. the keyboard player from uh, Doctor Teeth or whatever. Oh, like, <laughs> 
I tried to look at her voice too. She had like a very California like yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, Kirby. And Miss Piggy was fucking Frank Oz. It was Yoda. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did all waka those voices. Waka. <laughs> I like to. I like the Shining too. I know everybody shits oh, yeah. on the Shining. But I don't shit on it. I love the Shining. I just, so. you know, I grew up reading all his books. And Same. I'm a big fan of that book. Yeah. Yeah. And there's so much like really fucked up parts in the book that connect to the others. Oh yeah. Because uh, if you if you read The Shining, it connects to. All right. So a main character that we see in the movie is Halloran. Yeah. Um, the caretaker. Mm-hmm. Well, Halloran is the uncle of the little black boy in it. Okay. Okay. So there's a variation of uh, the shine huh. that the kids from the it have. Yeah. Yeah. And it explains it better because he has a better version. Like he could foresee gotcha. bad shit to an extent as hmm. opposed to the little boy who can see it far away yeah and did you ever see uh, did you watch, did you ever read the second book to that the doctor mm. sleep no i didn't and i heard the movie is great though too the movie's good so, uh, okay. that they leave, leave a lot of stuff out because they have to yeah um because there are some really fucked up parts in that mm. book but he goes back mm. um if you're interested but uh yeah he, he does go back and he's able to to finally end it Okay, and, and like they bring the dad back huh. in the book. Oh yeah, they uh, the guy that played him, um, can't remember his Jack name. Jack Nicholson. Now. No, 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 not Jack Nicholson. The the in the new movie, there's a guy that plays like a Jack Nicholson like that character. Yeah. Um, and I can't remember his name now, but he's been in a bunch of different stuff. So, yeah. um, anyway, he looked a lot like him though. But it was about like, like go. I don't want to go down the lore. Yeah, of yeah. Stephen King books, but. The, the Dark Tower series talks about it. I was going to say, but that's kind of like, and, uh, the, in the books, they all kind of tie together somehow. Yeah, we got, but all these little the kids... Beans. in these, yeah, the, yeah, all, all these little kids in the book, especially like supernatural ones like Dreamcatcher, It, uh, Christine, uh, The Shining and stuff. Mm-hmm. Kids in these books have something, a variation of The Shine. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's a power, and in the Dark Tower, they snatch these fucking kids up out of reality and try to use them to open... To break the dark tower, the, the okay. pin that holds it all together. Gotcha. Um, like Jake and Eddie and Susanna. See, I'm not well. Like, yeah. yeah, I'm not well read, read up. Well, on the that, those King books rule. Those the, you should read that series. It's really really I love, good. The dark it's tower. It's been a long time. I, since I, I, I got read really it, into like it until the least. last book. Oh uh, really? I got mad. Yeah. <laughs> what? The, how it ended? Yeah. yeah don't don't tell. Don't <laughs> no, say. It. I hate <laughs> that fucking book. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah. Uh, I was a little disappointed too. There was a there was a part. There's a there's a part in the Shining, in the book. Where he mentions and Halloran's like, "Don't worry, there's more," uh-huh. and he just talks about it. there's kids everywhere. Uh-huh. All over, they got the same fucking fucked up ability. Yeah. And in Doctor Sleep, there's a group of people who can feed off of it. So what they do huh. is they find these kids and kill them and eat them. Okay. <laughs> just All right. Going down the rabbit hole. You and McGregor, yeah. right? Is, yeah. You and McGregor yeah. is, yeah. is Danny. Danny. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but uh, he does go back. Uh, they do a good job. Yeah. Because uh, they they reenact the scene where Dad's going up the steps. Yeah. And you and McGregor. But it's, it's like going, a new actor, as I said. Yeah. I can't remember his name yeah. now, but he looked a lot like uh, Jack Nicholson. So yeah, but uh, it, they it, they're, they're fun that. movies. Like all Stephen King movies are fun movies. What about uh. fucking Maximum Overdrive. <laughs> Maximum Overdrive is a it's the perfect movie. It's, <laughs> it's a cinematic masterpiece. It's right up there with Lord of the Rings. <laughs> so uh, me and Louis Estevez, I think, apologized like recently yeah. like, for, for the making of that movie. Yeah, yeah, it's, a fun, it's a fun watch. Yeah, you know, sure. for, like, yeah, watch it twice or whatever. Donald yeah. Trump's second wife is in that movie. She's the dead woman hanging out of the window. No shit. No. Yeah. That's you know, hilarious. What got me about that movie was like, all right, I understand. Okay, let's let's suspend disbelief. Let's suspend all the fictional bullshit. So you're telling me a kid was ran over by a steamroller <laughs> going probably a mile an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> A vending machine cold cocked a coach in the face. <laughs> yes, it was like chucking cans like fucking uh, uh, Tom Brady. Just, yeah, fucking, right? just, just perfect fucking spear shots with a can of Pepsi. That's hilarious. Oh god! And there's fucking um, the uh, I'm trying to think of the I'm trying to think of the parts for it or whatever. I just remember like the soundtrack. It's like I it's, watched it's it recently. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's all ACDC. Uh, the stiff of her lip album. But it was like, a, <laughs> but that was just like full blown like coked out Stephen King yeah. putting this movie together. That's right back when he wrote good books. Have you seen the trailer for that movie where no. he's talking oh, yeah. in it? <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, yeah. <laughs> I love how that's clearly a fucking like green goblin. He's all like though. jacked out too. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's, of course he is. Like, it's a black background, and he's just like talking about how scary the movie is. Yeah, and he's just like in the uh, red light showing it, but he's like got that oh, weird like. Man, it's those creep show movies bit. though were great. I was both about to both ask, one and yeah. two. Yeah, those movies were, <laughs> dude, so good. So fucking and his hell. hillbilly thing with the with the meteor. Oh, the, uh-huh. <laughs> gag Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> was it part? Was a uh, 
part three, the one had uh, Debbie Harry, or am I thinking of completely? I don't different? think I ever. Yeah, no, I don't there, think there was a part three. Part was there? three no, there's a part three, and it's terrible. Oh, really? It's not. It's not Tom Savini. It's not Stevie King. It's none of those guys. Have you watched a TV show at all on Shutter? I have not. Uh, neither. I have got I. Shutter. I just haven't so, watched it. I've yeah. been watching their other stuff. That they, they, they got a lot of. Big, they have a big back catalog. of yeah. old, old horror movies I've been watching. Yeah, that's and cool. So, a couple of new ones that are just they're not bad. Like I love so, some of the newer horror movies, huh. uh, especially the long drawn out ones. Yeah, like, like the like there was one called The Lodge. Okay, and that's a hard watch if you're not into that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched The Lodge yet. I like a slow oh, burn. You, tr- you tried and you fell asleep. Oh, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, the people were calling like Parasite like a horror movie like when in a couple years ago when that came out. And it's I a suspense think, thriller. It's, yeah, it's a thriller more than... It's a good I mean, movie. It's, it's fucking nuts. It's crazy. It's fucking bad I mean, shit. talk about a movie that like literally like right at the halfway point just like a, does like a complete like 180. You're just like, what the... F-? Like, where are we going now? <laughs> like, have you seen it? No. Uh, oh, dude. Man, it's yeah, a, it's on Hulu, I think. Yeah. So... It, it, it is a visceral experience watching that one. It's fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to watch that. It makes, you not, have, great, makes you not want to have maids in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm behind on a lot of stuff. Like, we were talking about the Suicide Squad uh, movie that yeah. just came out. Yeah, uh, I haven't seen it. Yeah. I, I think f- it's okay. Like, everyone's going to be behind on stuff because there are people, like, no one's going to the theaters, really. No. Oh, I, there is one movie that I do want to see in the theater, which is that new, another A24 flick, which is uh, uh, The Green Knight. It's like, yeah, yeah, that looks yeah. pretty dope about um, uh, the uh, nephew. Twenty four has been making some really good yeah, stuff. Yeah, they made like the Lighthouse and Hereditary. I like and, the Lighthouse. Yeah, yeah, I love, weird, I love the Lighthouse. Did, um, the Witch, I think they did. They, yeah. as well. I need to see the Witch. Yeah. Too. Oh, the Witch that is really good. Yeah. So, like, I went to the theater and saw that, and I was trying to explain yeah. it to somebody. Like, yeah. you have to have that experience. Yeah, I saw the Lighthouse it. in the theater. I didn't see. Yeah, that's that's a great movie I, to watch yeah. in theaters. I saw Parasite in the theater too, but I did not see. Did you see Midsummer? Yes, I have seen. Oh, this. I did not see it in the theater though. Yeah, hilarious. it was good. It was good. Yeah, that the whole new generation of, of horror movies um, has been pretty good. Thus I've been far. telling them about uh, Ty West. You ever watch any of his movies? Mm-mm. Ty West. Um, I don't think so. Uh, oh, what is it? Um, You're next. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Yep. yeah You're I've next. Seen, I've seen the trailers um, for that. Yeah, I haven't seen it. Yeah, uh, he did another one. Um, I have to pull it up, but now nah, You're next was such a batshit movie because yeah. it came out around the same time Evil Dead did okay. and me and my buddy God, uh, Grayson that, that old too isn't it uh, me and my buddy Grayson had went and saw Evil Dead and like that next week I think Evil Dead was coming out of theaters uh-huh. and uh, oh House of the Devil that's what he made okay House of the Devil is a really cool old it looks like a 70s that. horror movie yeah but uh yeah House of the Devil Sacrament which is basically a POV documentary of Jim Jones Huh. It's exactly oh, like Jim, it's like the Jim Jones movie. I have to watch that. Yeah, yeah, but it has that same feel. But he also made like VHS and all them. That's how he started. Okay. Yeah, what was, yeah. What's the one that we watched? It was about a um, uh, uh, guy was making a documentary, or whatever, and uh, he was like uh, doing exorcisms. Was it M- Emily Rose? The Last Exorcism. Okay, it was just the Last Exorcism. Have you ever seen never that? saw it. No. It's, it's fucking hilarious yeah. because it's about a guy who's a fake. Exorcist. Okay, and he, he talks huh. about it like on camera and everything. Yeah, too, yeah. like to his like camera person or whatever. Yeah, like they, 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 is, is it like a found footage kind of thing or like yeah, kind yeah of okay. sort of yeah. yeah, but yeah. Like he's just he's talking about it um, as like, hey, I'm doing I'm a preacher, but I'm doing it to make money. Okay, like he he preaches at this small time, like, like in church, Louisiana yeah, or some yeah, shit like, some like backwoods that. place. But gotcha. he's telling him he's like you don't understand how easy it is to be a preacher. Like I could make literally a sermon about banana bread and he literally does. It. <laughs> yes. And like, he's like, you put the eggs in the power. And blah, 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 blah. It's like that, uh, movie with Steve Martin leap of faith. You yes. see that? Yeah. So he um, plays like a, like a fake and bell. Yeah. Evangelical. But like he talks so. about how he makes money off doing exorcists, yeah, exorcisms. Yeah. And he talks about how That's it's like, cool. how, but he also talks about how, like cool how premise. he sees it. He's like, you know, these people get do therapy or against therapy. You know, a fake exorcism might help them. It's a, you know, it is a crazy experience mm-hmm. anyway, because it's a lot of, <laughs> you know, hyperventilating, a lot of what like flooding techniques or something like that. Uh-huh. But he talks about how it helps people and how he thinks that, you know, if they think they're cured, they're cured. You know, like the mind over will, you know, will. Yeah, yeah. But he meets this one girl and he thinks it's the same way. And he's thinking it's a little bit more fucked up. Like she might have been molested or something like that. Uh, yeah, like they're trying to save her or whatever. It's like, we yeah. should get her away from this family. And yeah, because his family's fucking nuts. Uh, and it's her brother and her dad. Okay. And then it turns out it was real. She yeah. is the bride of Satan. And nice. like she is giving yeah. birth huh. to the... They made a second one, which is an actual movie. Okay. Which is really fun to watch. Yeah. Really? It is, it is. Because like, they try to do a real exorcism on her. Huh. And it goes 
terribly fucking wrong. Of course it does. Because <laughs> like, like her demon self is telling her in the yeah. mirror. She's like, you know you're going to die in about two seconds. <laughs> and like two more minutes, they're going to inject you with that shit. And uh-huh. they're going to kill you because that's the only way to stop this. Yeah. She's like, but you know you can just shake my hand. And then she shakes his hand and then oh, like geez. the movie just pans out. Yeah. And it's just like, oh shit. Now everything's on fire. That's pretty cool. That shit would freak me out when I was a kid. All like, uh, you know, occult themed uh, oh, movies and I things like that. Now movies. I love it. But my, my uh, dad, my dad showed me like horror yeah. movies as soon as he fucking could. There was one that I saw recently. It was like a, a kind of a, a smaller film because it only has like maybe two main characters, like a father and son. But um, the autopsy of Jane Doe. Great movie. Yeah, it was That's really really good. That oh, uh, That's kind of it's kind of weird name? occult um, twist to it at the end. Brian. Um, Oh, fuck. I can't remember his name. He's the dad. <sighs> yeah, I'd have to look at it. Emil Hirsch is the son. Is he? I think so. I don't... I can't remember. I'd uh, have to... Yeah, autop- but it was good. It was really good. And I said, it's got like a little cult thing to yeah, it. Yeah, what's the name of this we call? The Autopsy of Jane, Jane Doe. Doe. Yeah. Autopsy of Jane Doe. Yeah. I'll have to watch that one, too. Yeah. Um, yeah, Brian Oops. Cox and Emil Hirsch. Okay. Brian but, uh, Cox... Uh, from fucking super troopers. That's what I think yeah. him of. <laughs> or I swear I to God, I'm next person who's just I'm gonna pistol whip the shit out of yeah. him. <laughs> hey, Barbara, what's that place you like with all the stupid shit on the wall? <laughs> Shenanigans. Oh, oh I like, love that. Gun. Yeah, I love that look on his face. Too. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> That's a, I never saw the second one for that, but the first I didn't one's either. Yeah, no, no, all no, crown no. funded. I think it was. But, uh, yeah, so. I've heard it's but garbage. But no, the, the yeah. autopsy of Jane Doe is about a witch. They find a witch. Yeah. And she's perfect. Like, they want to know what happened to her. But she's, like, she was buried deep in a house. Yeah. And they dig her up. And she's, there's nothing wrong with her. Like, her yeah. body's perfectly fine. Yeah. They don't see any, like, bruises or scratches. What may have caused her death? Maybe she was suffocated, maybe. But they start doing an autopsy. And it's the middle she's of the night. It's going a little haywire. So. Yeah. Because they start cutting her up. And they found, like, these tattoos inside her skin. And oh, shit. my God. Yeah. Like, weird, like, cool. feathers in her stomach and shit like that. Yeah, they got a... That's a badass movie. It is. Yeah. Super Troopers, though. That was one I... That, I haven't rewatched that in a minute. It's I wonder good. if it holds it's still still good. Good. It still holds up. <laughs> still holds up. That whole group had a bunch of movies that were kind of like oh, hit yeah, or miss. Club Lizard. Dread. Club yeah, Dread was yeah. that was funny. <laughs> yeah, broken. Beer League. <laughs> Beer League. And then they had that one, the Slam and Salmon, with the restaurant. Beer, Beer Fest. Beer, Beer Fest. Fest. Beer League That's was, was the uh, Artie Lang. Artie Lang. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dirty yeah. Work. <laughs> Dirty Work is a fucking <laughs> underrated <laughs> movie too. Oh my God, this car lot's full of dead hookers. Oh my God, there's another dead hooker. No, no, they're not dead hookers. No shit. I can't believe this car lot is just. Full of dead hookers, <laughs> and it's just like that 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 fucking dry humor, fucking yes. Norm Macdonald, that shitty delivery. Yes, it just makes it better. He does the note to self thing yeah, at the one point, where like <laughs> when they're showing the game porn yeah. in the theater, and Artie like looks for a second. He's like, "Note to self: Artie looked. <laughs> Artie <laughs> loves the cops. It's like, no, I didn't. <laughs> fucking Chris Farley's last movie. Yeah, yeah, it was. But that scene and with Don Rickles, no bullshit. Oh, if I'm my. feeling down, sometimes I'll just look that scene up just, just so looks, to get. Like, he just looks him up and down. He's like. What the fuck are you? <laughs> he calls him a baby gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you look like a tub of lard on a bad day or something yeah. like that. Oh, dude, uh, it's, it's, it's a dress down. Like he's just dressing yeah, this dude. It's like Arlie Army <laughs> talking shit. Like, it's, that's who. That's who I would love to see. Arlie Army versus yeah. Don Rickles. Fuck yeah! In yeah. hell. Yeah. <laughs> like uh, right. Chris Farley is just like uh, got his nose, nose, nose is missing. Yeah. A hooker bit his nose. Yes. Yeah. That's why he's the skunk at the end. That's the Saigon whore that bit my nose off. <laughs> he ends up married her at the end anyway. Yeah. Yes. He's got a he's in like, the land of the skunk. Uh, the man with half a nose, nose is king. king. Yep. <laughs> Great flick. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I, I, I remember I had that movie for so long on VHS. Then we went to DVDs. I was like, I couldn't find it on DVD. <laughs> Someone burned me a copy of it, and that's how I had it. You know, on, uh, you know who the bad DVD. guy in that movie was, right? Oh, fuck. I can't remember. Shooter McGavin. Yeah, that's right. I don't know what his, his uh, real name is, but that motherfucker will always be shoot, uh, Shooter, Shooter McGavin. Yeah, because he's buying the whorehouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's yes. a whorehouse. He's buying the whorehouse. But fucking Shooter McGavin. Talk about a great a sports movie, you know. Uh, yeah. I remember you had uh, Cabot said you mentioned doing yeah. like a, the funniest like baseball movie. Yeah, but like sports movie in general. Yeah. Happy Gilmore. It's up there. Oh god. Totally. I just like how- there's so many though. So that was just funny, oh, yeah. just because like you know my whole mom's side of the family was all super into golf and everything. Too. Oh really? Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Golf is such a weird sport to watch. Like my dad would watch it. I'm just like, what the fuck is this appealing? How is this appealing? <laughs> and now I watch them like, oh shit, he's too strong. <laughs> yeah, this dude is kicking ass. Dude. I like watching it on a Sunday, the last round, and just kind of falling oh, asleep yeah, on the couch. Like, just watch, just watch the, just watch the, the Nationals, just fucking yeah. Augusta, Georgia. Yeah. Just, like, just watch that. The Masters and stuff. And yeah, yeah, totally. And you always root for the course. Yeah, <laughs> just rooting for John Daly whenever he's in it. Oh, oh John Daly, that, that was my guy, John yeah. Daly. Hey, you guys, what uh, a piece of shit that guy is. <laughs> he's like, he come out there smoking a fucking. 
<laughs> smoking Stogie. butts and, and like and drinking, uh, drinking Coors and Light or whatever. Out, uh, hey, uh, <laughs> are you guys want to do a full nine or eighteen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, Good, good. Dude could drive the ball. Though. Oh God, he so, was happy yeah. Gilmer man. He yeah. could hit it a country yeah. mile. Totally he couldn't putt for shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think my mom knew a guy that was married to John Daly, or knew a girl that was dated John Daly. He's probably, probably, he's probably, he's probably on his third. He's probably on his third. John Daly's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news. <laughs> he's probably on his third or fourth wife by now. Oh yeah. So probably. I heard he's got like an RV that he'll uh, he'll just go even if he's not participating in certain tournaments. He'll just go and like park at the, like the local Hooters and he just like of sells course. like books and autographs and stuff. Yeah, man. He's one of the. He's one of the. The funniest golfers you've ever seen. And yeah. I think he won a championship or two. Yeah, he's he definitely won a couple. I don't know if majors. I guess. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know if, if, I don't think yeah. he's got a Masters. No, no he ain't think, got a I don't think he won the. He don't got the green jacket. Yeah, yeah. no, I don't think so. Sure as hell no. done, but you know he's probably one of the more famous ones out there for better or worse. Yeah, yeah, but Happy Gilmore is a good one. Yeah, yeah. I know that became a golf podcast there for a minute. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> But no, I like to. I like all those. Uh, you, we were talking about baseball movies and shit uh-huh. like that too. I loved all that. Yeah, there's so many good ones though. Um, well, the, the, like the best one I think is just the a League of Their Own. Oh yeah, yeah. that yeah. is the pinnacle. I think that's the best baseball movie ever. Oh made. gosh, and it, I know that's hard to say. Cause it's, a, it's, it's a good. You can argue definitely that it is. There's one movie I watched that I remember growing up watching Field of Dreams. Yeah, that was a yeah, that Dreams was is that's one what of my favorites. That's too. what sparked it a little bit uh, because I, that that game they played a game out there that uh, yeah. at that site yeah. um, just a couple of days ago. Yeah, I and, saw that. Uh, yeah, um, it was pretty cool. I will say this: this is gonna piss a lot of people off. I fucking hate the Sandlot. Really? Hmm. It's one of the movies I've seen like so many fucking times. Okay. I have like, too. I don't. Yeah. I understand you watch it growing up, just like the fucking Goonies. Yeah. But it's not that good. Like, yeah. Like to I don't me, love to it. me, watching it, it's not that good. I think it's fun. Yeah. I think it's fun. And I'm plus, I'm pretty sure the nerdy kid turned out to be Charles Manson. <laughs> Because yeah, the epilogue probably. at the end is kind of just vague as fuck. Yeah, it is. He's like, oh, he went on to be a sports announcer. Oh, he went on to do this. Hey, that guy with the glasses, what did he do? Oh, he just disappeared into the 60s yeah. somewhere. Didn't he marry the the uh, lifeguard, though, or whatever? Or was, that, was that that guy? No, he was... No. Squints? Squints uh, is the one that just uh, disappears uh, into the fucking ether. Yeah. <laughs> He becomes fucking Charles Manson. Yeah, <laughs> like timeline. I remember I watched the video a lot about it. About it. He's like, do you know that Squints is actually Charles Manson? And I'm just like, what? It's right up there with conspiracy theories of like birds aren't real. But yeah, <laughs> and Sunday Trashman. <laughs> Sunday Trashman. Did you ever watch a uh, fucking Angels in the Outfield when it? Was oh like, God! Everyone had that movie. Too, they did. Growing. I, I did. never watched. Yeah. It. I never. I watched never watched it either. It's no. a it's a Disney fucking. Baseball it's about the movie. Anaheim yeah. Angels. They're a terrible team. But yeah, there was a huge <laughs> kick like in the early '90s and like or maybe the late '80s of just baseball movies like in the Field yeah. of Dreams, mm-hmm. Bull Durham. I well, played was fun. and I was playing baseball a lot when I was a little kid. Well, too. Kevin Costner sh- like was just shitting out sports movies. Well, yeah, he oh. did that in the Bull for Cup. the love of the game. Yeah, Jane um, Cup, Bull Durham. Yeah, yeah, Bull Durham's the shit. Yeah, uh, the Natural was the one with Robert Redford. Was the one that's that a I, wild ass movie because he's yeah. just fucking gutted in the fucking like, wow, yeah this bitch by Glenn Close. I think it is. Oh, is it? Yeah, I believe. Anyway, it is. He, this yeah. dude he's so good at playing baseball. He even like strikes out Babe Ruth. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't remember. Yeah, there's a scene like where they're uh, like just like a like like random thing. field. Yeah, and Babe Ruth is like talking shit to a, a, a Babe Ruth type character. Talking yeah. to the movie The Babe with John Goodman. Oh as, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was not a good movie. No. But The Natural was great, and I remember like you can. I think of that theme song, the the dun 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 dun. dun like you can. I mean, yeah. have, have you ever seen it? No, but, I haven't. Oh, really? No. Uh, that's a good one. But the one. natural, the natural is fucked up because like halfway through the movie, he meets this woman. She's yeah. like, "Are you gonna be the best around?" Yeah. He's like, "Oh yeah." Pow! And shoots yeah. him in the fucking stomach. Yeah. <laughs> See, then there was the uh, there was the rookie with Dennis Quaid. Oh yeah, that's when he was like older. Yeah. He was older and he was like. Yes. He, was, he threw yeah. out his arm and like. He was a he was a coach for. Um, yeah, like, yeah, he thrown out his arm and he was a coach at a high school or something mm-hmm. like that. And, and then, he uh, went to, tried to go for the majors. Yeah, he said if we win the state champions or something like that, I'll go to the I'll try to try out for the majors. And yeah. They end yeah. up yeah. winning. That was that, that was so. a fun movie. Yeah. I just, I just remember Angels in the Outfield. Just like you were saying, everybody had it and we had it and we watched it a bunch and shit. I remember like going to friends' houses and like you know remember the, you remember Disney movies were like packaged in that mm-hmm. white plastic shit and it had like mm-hmm. all the artwork on it and like you you'd see the normal like. The Lion King, Mermaid, mm-hmm. Snow White, and stuff, and then you see like the other Disney movies that didn't make a lot of movies. <laughs> the like, Say a lot too. Say a lot too. Oh my god! Yeah. Return of Jafar. <laughs> I had that one. That too. was a metal fucking movie. Like if you watch the dark scenes of that movie, that is a fucking metal album. <laughs> like, when they're chasing a lad down and going over that waterfall with those black horses and the fucking oh my bat god, wings. I forgot and about sheep. that. Yeah. <laughs> People forget Disney would put a lot of like go- like fucking like demonic fucking imagery in all their fucking animated they shit. They didn't give a fuck. They killed a they killed a dude's dad like in the first five minutes of a movie. 
movie, so they didn't give a that shit. That was every fucking movie. <laughs> well, that's because yeah. par- uh, that's what Disney does only like single parents. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's true. It's yeah, true. basically, <laughs> you could only be a single parent household in a Disney movie. Yeah, Dory and uh, Finding Dory and Finding Nemo, and... Lilo and Stitch yeah. didn't even have fucking. <laughs> yeah, he was a brain raised by a sister. It was probably Bambi, a of course. <laughs> but uh, Disney Disney hates families. <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> they want you to come see their movies, but they fucking yeah. hate. Them. <laughs> They own every movie out there now. So. Oh hell yeah! yeah. They yeah. Got, that's they why are like, they are Hollywood now. Yeah. That's why like uh, like twentieth uh, century Fox DVDs are going up so much because huh. all those movies are now going to be in the vault mm. because they're not going to reproduce them. Lame. Yeah, that's, that's the only bad shit. thing about buying Fox was they're yeah. Just, yeah, they're just going to buy up every pickings. fucking you know franchise. Every I really fuck. hope they do. So like we get the Google Wars, the Google Wars <laughs> with Amazon, so I can live in my prime house with my prime meal, <laughs> to, with my yeah. prime TV. You're just gonna, and it's, and it's uh, like a fucking uh, box for it with like Amazon packages with the fucking uh, smiley yeah. face on it. Yep. You have no jurisdiction here in <laughs> Fort <laughs> Kickass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Krieger. <laughs> oh, yeah. look, uh, go back to action movies, like. You're talking about like T2 and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, one of them, uh, I think the ones that uh, I had brought up before was um, Commando. Commando. Um, yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? A long time ago. Yeah, it's Dude, uh, he's just walking around carrying fucking an AK-47. <laughs> an the SKS. logs in the beginning. He's Yo, just yeah, got just... logs. What, who was his daughter again? Um, the chick from Who's the Boss? Um, oh, shit, I don't know. Uh, I know who you're talking about. You ever seen the movie Embrace of the Vampire with her? Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I haven't seen that. Dude, no. I highly recommend. Yes, Alyssa Milata. I highly recommend oh, okay. Embrace of the Vampire. Uh, it's when she's older. It's not when yeah, she's yeah, a yeah. little girl like in Commando. She's, hot as fuck, but, but she's older. Yes. <laughs> like, at least past so, eighteen. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's a that's Commando a great movie. Is such a fucked up yeah, movie. it's a great movie. He's got this fucking uh, quad launcher. His fucking yeah. launcher. Doosh, yeah. doosh, doosh, doosh. You see a uh, Running Man. Oh yes. man, that's a Stevie King story. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is. is. It's that's a short right. Story, it's, a, yeah. it's like a, it's like a, yeah, the novella. Yeah, but I remember I was on, I was in dial, I was doing dialysis for about ten years. Okay, and I would just constantly read and watch yeah. movies and stuff. That's how I yeah. was like. A, that's a, that's a good one to read and watch so. because the Running Man of the movie has nothing to do with that fucking. Yeah, it's in the book. Bachman books, like what yeah. he wrote it under Richard Bachman. Yeah, and um, like alias. I remember reading that book, and if you read the book, if you look down at the page numbers, it starts at like one twenty-seven, mm-hmm. and then while you're reading it. The pages go down instead oh, really? of up because it's a so countdown. Cool. Yeah, yeah. In the running sure. man, he flies a plane into a fucking building. <laughs> oh, that's, okay. that's the end of the book. <laughs> well, shit, doesn't start off with him like getting accused of like uh, uh, flying a plane into a building or something. No, like he got that? accused of killing civilians in the movie. That's what it was. Yeah, but no, the running man was actually just a game. He, like his his wife was sick, uh, and his daughter wasn't doing good. So he joins uh, a game show, which in the future a corporation needs entertainment to keep poor people happy or they lose their shit. Mm. Yeah. Bread and circuses. So he goes in and there was a, there was a bargain. You could win so much money. All you had to do was survive. But in the movie, the running man is in an arena type, like a a big arena, but it's stages, right? Yeah. The running man in the book is across America from California to Maine, from Florida to Washington. It is across the United States. And like, if you saw me, like if I, if I was the running man, and if you saw me, you could cash me in. You could just be like, hey, I got him right here. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like, you know, they do that in the movie too. Yeah, it's kind of like a fucked up version of The Purge. Yeah. <laughs> Which, The Purge is fucking terrible. Got, yeah. Never saw I, it. I watched the first one. It's a, it's and a, it makes yeah. no sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's Logistically, a, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> it's a fun concept for a movie, but it just wasn't a good movie to watch. I've only seen the first one, though. I know yeah, they've done like stupid. two or oh, so three. So you tell me crime is legal for 24 hours. Mm-hmm. What about... Crimes that take days, that have the effects of days, like rape. Yeah. <laughs> mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, are you still responsible for that kid nine months later after the mm. purge? Yeah, was exactly. <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry, I, that happened during the purge. I can't be, uh, you know, tried for it or anything yeah. like that. Yeah, Can I embezzle money from a bank. <laughs> uh-huh. But uh, not nah, Commando was the shit. Yeah, <laughs> Predator. Yes. Yeah. 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 Predator's I mean, one of my Predator's the movie favorites. I can sit yeah. down. And just, like, totally. If, if it's on, I'm just gonna yeah, sit down and watch. Can, yeah. There's so many scenes. Bunch of muscle bound monsters <laughs> oh, no. fighting an alien for space. It's like the WWE roster or some yeah. shit, just fighting well, a like, fucking uh, mo- yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. a rounded out monster yeah. at that. You got Sonny Landham, a great back character because he mm-hmm. was in 48 Hours. Mm-hmm. He shoots a cop in the face, and it's fucking wild to watch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Sonny Landham. Uh, Carl Weathers, yeah, Paul yeah. Creed, yeah. Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Jesse the Body Ventura. The yeah. director is one of the guys. Uh, yeah, winners. Or the winners. Wasn't, wasn't the writer part of it? Um, wasn't there a guy like I had to look it up? Something black. Yeah. Um, yeah, Aaron Black. Was it Aaron Black? I don't remember. 
But yeah, he was the guy who made the movie. He's in it. Okay. But yeah, he's one. Yeah, yeah he's he one, one of the original scriptwriters and stuff. But he's in it. Hmm. He's the one that tells. I think he's the one that tells uh, Jesse Body Ventura. He's like, you got time to bleed. I remember he's yeah, like, I got, got time, time to bleed. You yeah. got time to duck. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> and he shoots a fucking thump gun into a fucking thing. Yeah, directed by was it John Mc, McTierman? Oh, the guy who directed Die Hard, well, another yeah. one of the greatest. Oh no shit. Yeah, back to back. Um, yeah, Die Hard's the shit. Yeah, well, I think it was one of the writers who's yeah in the in the movie. But yeah. Yeah, that he, whole I love the whole trilogy for Die Hard. So I remember really? seeing the second one. In the, I yeah. tried to explain. Well, that. I, 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 I call it trilogy. Yeah, because yeah. there's like, <laughs> yeah, like, like ten the fourth of them and the at fifth. This point. I, during, yeah. the po- during the podcast, I told them about Die Hard with a Vengeance and how it opens up. And yeah, how yeah. fucking bad shit. That it, is. It's such a great movie. Where he's so. just got that sign. Yeah, oh, yep. and he's walking yep. through Harlem. Yeah. And, and yeah, Sam Jackson just says, "This kid, get inside." His nephew's get like inside. running get him or whatever. He's like, "Uncle," he's like, "You gotta see this." He's like, "What is he?" He's like, "It's a white man out in the street." He's like, "I've seen him." He's like, "Not like this." Yeah. So. He's got a giant sign that says, "I hate beep." Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember that part. Yeah, dude, I had that video game. That game was a shit. Yeah, the yeah, you dr- video game. Yeah, yeah, you drove through like the park and everything yeah. and the cab. Jeremy um, Irons is the bad guy. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember like catching bits and pieces of it again on TV. That movie rules. That could arguably be. I mean, that, I don't want to be blasphemous here. That could arguably be the best one. Um, I know but, everybody oh, says yeah. but the, the first, first one. Yeah. But well, I, the first one is great, too. I mean, That's a Christmas movie. Yeah, <laughs> it is. So is so Lethal make, Weapon. Two, so is Lethal Weapon 2. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still love the Lethal Weapon movies. I know that you shit on uh, Danny Glover all the time. But, <laughs> like, speaking of Angels in the Outfield. Because of Predator 2. Yeah. Well, that's Predator 2 because of fucking Saul. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he fucking sucks in Saul. I was telling him, like, I grew up. In school, we had to watch a movie mm-hmm. called A Raisin in the Sun, and he plays the shit heel son. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. like, he does it so well. I'm just like, yep, he's a shit heel. That's why he can do it so well. <laughs> so you don't like him because he's so great. He's so good at being a piece of shit. <laughs> kind of like how, uh, what's his name? Uh, Walter Coggins is so yeah, good at somebody nuts. at the door. All of our representatives are currently busy. Please stay on the line, and your call will be answered by the next available representative. The estimated hold time is currently less than 90. Six minutes. You are currently caller number 32, waiting to speak with a representative. Thank you for your patience. Danny Glover's a real piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. We weren't talking about that. But, um, the, uh, oh, God. Um, the scene where he's uh, he like finds the aliens like lair mm-hmm. and there's like trophy room oh, yeah, or there's, whatever like, the alien yeah. skull and, and yes, all that shit exactly and he's just, like, it's, just, like, it's just like a nod to the alien movie totally. everybody's like yeah. they're connected the bro <laughs> Waylon Yutani know who the fucking predator exactly. lives bro <laughs> fucking snood life what <laughs> <laughs> exactly hey you're right. joining us back in mid conversation I tell you life uh. does not slow the fuck down over here at Something Good Network headquarters and you'll hear about that on the Something Good episode later on that ain't for this episode but anyway back to the story and yeah I'm finally back and you'll find out why (laughs) welcome we just took a break to watch New Jack City and then yes (laughs) again another movie it's like I was listening to you guys and the thing is is like Y'all wouldn't have missed me much anyway throughout these episodes because there, like, there, there was like a handful that I'm like, ooh, I could comment on that. But then like the majority, I was like, yep, nope, I've not seen that. I hadn't seen that either. Oh, okay, well, okay, whatever. But go back to Predator 2, you know that gun he hands him, that uh, old uh, flintlock pistol uh-huh. he hands him. Uh, IDW had made a comic about the origin of that pistol and it is so fucking brutal where that pistol came from because the Predator came down and started knocking off fucking conquistadors and shit and pirates and shit and a guy was helping him. Mm. A a man was helping the Predator because he was down like he was losing. It's a comic? Yeah. Okay. But he was losing and this dude was helping the Predator slaughter these fucking Aztecs (laughs) and Mayans and shit like in the fucking woods. That's crazy. And like he takes a shot in the stomach and dies, and the huh. guy gives him that pistol. Okay. And that, that predator, like, cherished that. Like, this guy saved my fucking life. These humans aren't so bad. I'm going to come back and hunt a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I will save you. But I will save you. Balls to the wall, man. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it is. Like, you see, like, the flintlock pistol. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty cool comic. Yeah. Because uh, I got to, like, uh, you know, go into, like, Aliens, you know, another great action series. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had went to a comic shop, and it was got to uh, liquidate and all this stuff. And they had the original... Test prints, which is like um, 13 by 6 test prints of the first Aliens comic. And there were seven of them. And I got all seven at home. But it's the test prints for the first ever Aliens comic. Hmm. And they are so fucking wicked looking because they're all black and white. They haven't been colored. 
you know, just brutal fucking killings like and the shit. H.R. Geiger and all that, yeah, too? Yeah, it's the original artwork and all that. Yeah. But it's for the comic, so it looks okay. a little bit more, you know, it just looks more comic-y. It doesn't look yeah, no, if he all like, shaded and all perfect and stuff like that. I wasn't sure artwork. if he, uh, you know, did the designs for the comics or not, or oh, did yeah. he just, like, just make he the design? He stopped after two. Oh, okay. Then he got fucked. <laughs> he did. He got fucked over after number two. Yeah, yeah, I don't know his story all that well. It's crazy. That seems to be the mo- the story on like most comic book creators though is you know once they get their ball rolling you know then they just get fucked on the long run. Oh, George Giger wasn't a comic writer. Well, what you're saying yeah. uh, with the uh, writing though in general. Yeah. Uh, so the comics lasted only for like a little while, mm. but like his original artwork was stolen mm. by I think was who made who made Aliens with uh, Fox. I think it was. Oh, good question. Let me look that new up. New Line, I think. No, no idea. But new it wasn't New Line. No. See, it New Line was, didn't have that much money. <laughs> see, it was <laughs> 21st put century. Out by, we're talking about the first one, right? The first and second one. Okay. But anyway, anyway, like we'll come back to it. But they they had kicked him out basically mm-hmm. of the production. Yeah, and yeah. Stole a bunch of his like designs and stuff. Designs yeah. for the second movie that he yeah. wanted to put in, and then they created him in the, the shitty third movie. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And damn. He didn't get no like he's not even credited in the fucking credits like huh. for original artwork or anything no like shit. supporting artists or anything. Yeah, Brandy one is what I see or Fox distributed it. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. but yeah, this yeah they fucked him. So damn. Well, fuck Fox then. No. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Disney? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because as y'all mentioned earlier, I was listening. Yes, they own everything yes. now. This and they hate you and they hate <laughs> families. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cancel us, Disney. Sponsor us, Jeff Bezos, with your space money. <laughs> yes, Jeffrey, <laughs> Jeffrey <Space> Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought if you got rid of regulation, what would happen? Yeah. <laughs> and then, in, uh, Aliens was distributed by Cinema Shares Inter. Oh, oh, All right, Cin- Cinema Shares International Distro. That's the U.S. based one, and then yes, Fiesta it- Films in Canada. Yeah, hmm. the, the third movie is terrible. <laughs> I never saw the third one. I saw the weird. We talked about this before, where I saw the uh, the weird one where uh, four, yeah, yeah four, where you saw like the alien and... hybrid, or yeah, whatever, that with was her weird. milk blood, yeah, yeah, and they suck her out the window or whatever, or yeah. something of that nature. You see like the weird flesh, yeah, hanging off the fucking thing. It's like yeah. that's not how space works, you piece of shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, your tongue boils and you fucking drown to death. <laughs> Since when are we looking for reality in space movies? Yeah, it's true. I am. Yeah, <laughs> it's got to make sense to me. Damn it. That's why I hate. Fucking like Darth Vader, one space artist, like, like Darth Vader's uh, cape blowing so in the wind. <laughs> it could have been so fucking much bullshit in that movie. It's uh, just a black background of a giant fetus. It's a it's a classic <laughs> though. So. You're telling me that robot couldn't have thought of some more fucked up ways to <laughs> sure, fuck with how? Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Nah, nah, I can't let you out there, John. What do you, what do you think you are, huh? I'll put I'll pump fucking helium over this motherfucker, and make you hallucinate. We're back to Cuba. Make you think of a person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Fuck those monkeys with the fucking obelisk and everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh God! Now I was gonna say uh, I I feel like y'all kind of did run through the gambit of like the things that may or may have not been discussed. Or is there any sort of new properties that you're kind of looking forward to seeing, Paul? Because it's like slowly things are kind of getting back into theaters. Yeah, I mentioned the Green Knight. I want to see that. Yeah. Um, and then of course the whatever this whatever the Spider-Man movie is gonna be. We need the um, damn trailer already. <laughs> well, what the apparently fuck? They're not gonna release one. I don't. I don't know. There was like that. Uh, there was the in theater uh, camera video yeah, that was making that. the rounds. That's, that's, that was yeah, fake. That was I all, thought yeah, so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was I, give, I give him credit for like trying to do it that way. To oh yeah. Like, oh yeah. Secret theater. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And y'all heard the recent developments on that because we already heard the whole Alfred Molina being part of it and Jamie yep. Foxx being a part of it. Did mm-hmm. you hear the most recent confirmed person that'll be in it? Willem Dafoe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. He was Sweet. asked yeah. recently, they said, with everyone coming back to these Spider-Man films, are, can can you be, you know, are you going to show up? Yeah. And he goes, man, I would love to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sitting here going, I'm like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You're going to be in that movie. <laughs> Holy awesome. fuck. Because that's, yeah. that's the Marvel non-answer yeah, is, yeah. is the, oh, I'd love to be able to talk about that. Sure. If they don't directly say no. Yeah, that means yes. Yeah, yeah, and I'm just like, oh shit, they're bringing back fucking Green Goblin. That's awesome. You know, hopefully he doesn't look like a rejected Power Ranger. <laughs> he's know. still the one of the greatest actors that we have out there right now. Absolutely. So, yeah. first oh, he's first amazing. First of all, the villains of Power Rangers were a lot better looking than the fucking Green Goblin. <laughs> <That's> an outcast. <laughs> okay, everyone. If, I don't know if you've you've probably not seen it, but there was literally a <laughs> fucking Cenobite as a character in the fucking Power Rangers when I was a kid. A man with no flesh. 
I will have and you know, bikini. sir. I will have you and know, sir. I watched the Power Rangers Dino Thunder. <laughs> Dino Thunder. <laughs> you remember Dino Thunder? Yes, I do. <laughs> it was like 13th generation. Yeah. <laughs> hey, nah. man, that was the one coming on brand new as soon as we got Direct TV and I had nah. Disney X, uh, DX Thunder. or whatever. Nah, mine had that. Rita Repulsa, The Witch on the Moon, and her husband, a skinless man named Lord Zed, who carried a spear and had no skin. Pull him up and show him what the fuck looks like. How fucking terrifying that is for kids. What am I looking up? Lord Zed. Zed from Power Rangers. Lord Zed. Z-E-D. And like, look at the... If you're listening to this, look at the images and tell me he doesn't belong in Hellraiser. I remember this. Ah! Yeah, dude. Look at this. No skin having motherfucker. Yep. Mm-hmm. With that badass fucking like shredder helmet or whatever the yeah, hell yeah. that is. That's for pretty kids. cool. That is some shredder shit right for there. For kids. You put though. that shit out for kids now, it's gonna be on HBO. <laughs> that's like yeah. some that's yeah. like some kaiju shit you'd see in like the the, the adult Godzilla uh-huh. and Gamera movies and shit like that. That's actually but, pretty cool. It's pretty yeah. good. Metal. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I like the de- actually, yeah, I'm a fan. <laughs> I like the design quite a bit. And he was evil as fuck. Like he was evil. Like he genuinely wanted to kill innocent people. <laughs> No, I tried Power Rangers. Of all the of all those TV shows, yeah. I tried it. Yeah. I couldn't. That that and uh, He Man. I, I was into He Man. Yeah, I had all the toys and stuff. Speaking so. of what, have y'all watched the new Masters of the Universe? Yet? I have not. Yes. So okay. Yeah. What do you yeah. think so far, Chris? I love the artwork. Uh, the story's really good mm-hmm. uh, for what they did with it. It's yeah. good, like post He Man. Okay. I think, think it'd be okay. a good story like that. Uh, mm-hmm. But man, fucking He Man got redone in about ten. 15 years ago mm-hmm. already? Yeah, like He-Man 2000, something like that. Dude, that was, I had that, no idea. But, it was just called Masters of the Universe, and it was fucking fantastic because uh-huh. they delved into the serpent people and all that shit, mm-hmm. and the Mount, uh, Mount Serpent and all that. Yeah. Um, that was a cool series, and I, was, I remember I had joked with them about how the, the writing for He-Man is just to sell toys. And yeah, like, wasn't not, it but just it's also just a toy. But it's, <laughs> yeah, also, it's, like a, it's like a J.K. Hasbro. Rowling, that J.K. Rowling writing. Uh-huh. And it's like, oh, we're going to go on Diagon Alley. You mean diagonally? Yeah. Let me spell the word diagonally and you broke it up. And it's like, hey, what's that guy's name? He's got so many faces. His name is Manny Faces. Yeah. <laughs> Very on the nose. What is that? Moss oh, that's, man. That's, that's yeah. Evil Lynn. You mean Evelyn. Yeah. Her name is literally fucking Evelyn. You know? And then, like, yeah. and then uh, there, what was... Beast Man. There was Beast Man. He, yeah. There's, there's Merman. Man, man Arms. Yeah. Man at Arms. He just had one arm that was badass. <laughs> <laughs> um, and now, like the only one that had like a real name was fucking He Man and yeah. fucking Tila. <laughs> yeah, it's like Masters of the Battle Universe Camp. and all that was like before uh, my time, really, because that was the big boom of that was like the mid '80s, yeah. right, for kids yep. and all that. Yep, totally. They all yeah. still look super cool and everything, but you know, I the never... toys were were cool as shit. Like oh, they, yeah. um, the Snake Mountain where uh, Skeletor lived, like had like this microphone thing on it that you mm-hmm. could you could pull up and like d- distort your voice. And oh, shit. that's it was, badass! Yeah, it was so cool. And then so. you had. Uh, the castle Grayskull yep and you, you could put all the people inside the ground it basically worked like a toy chest almost yeah Ooh. and uh, you had they had some weird side characters too like the skunk man the, uh, what was his name I don't remember there's so many I'm trying to think of the what the little ghost ghoul guy was name well, his name started was, with an O because he had in the, the O on, uh, his, on his yeah because his name was uh, well he was on the the one that just came out that's on Netflix okay. I think yeah he was a popular character but he had this like little thing that um I guess it was you, you pushed it in. It was almost like a top, and you pulled it like a pin, and yeah. it make them spin around. Ooh. So as I said, the toys were cool as hell, and I remember them well. So I was gonna like, say, yeah, y'all, y'all going down this? I think this is gonna be another separate episode. We ought yeah, to right. talk about the, the toys we loved as kids. Yeah, no right. shit. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, like you, you had brought up an old Stanley Kubrick movie that is actually very well done. Uh, Doctor oh, Strangelove. Shit. Yeah. Have you guys seen this movie? Take a wild guess. No. no. <laughs> Another I cold horror either. kind of movie as well. So, oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a nuclear horror movie. Yes, but it's, it's batshit insane. Yeah, it's he's just, like, we got to launch hilarious. the nukes, sir. Yeah. We can't do that. And but it's like it, there's this war room in the middle of this fucking. Uh, Telly Saval, uh, uh, who was who was in that movie? Um, Peter Sellers plays Peter the president, Sell- and he plays the guy in the wheelchair. And yes, <laughs> but like, I'm trying to think of the guy who played the general though. Something Scott. Um, oh, George C. Scott. Yes, yes. Oh yep. damn. Yeah, from right. Taps. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. In the movie Taps, but. uh some wild ass colonel or major or whatever flies off of uh, like, it was a general it was yeah. a general yeah. pops off a nuke yeah. says fuck it we're kick starting the fucking end of days yeah. because he's insane yeah. and then the president has to get on the phone and call Russia yeah. and be like there was an accident yeah. <laughs> and we popped it's off it's a around. hilarious movie and we accidentally so. popped off around yeah. and Russia's like you don't hear really what Russia has to say, but you hear Mr. President, the president, going like, "Come on, come on, man. you got 
to let this go. This was an accident. Was like, <laughs> and they just kick off World War III because there's, there's actually a B-52 bomber who has the bomb. Yeah. And, they've and they're been trying to-, to get it back. Yeah. Um, and yeah. they've been told to drop yeah. this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the plot of fucking Metal Gear Solid 3. I know yeah. I went off the rails in my reference. <laughs> but oh, still. Kind, of, kind of. That's where they got it from. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah basically. Prevent. It's Doctor Strange love. Except and fucking fa- the- this one, Metal Gear Solid fails. <laughs> yeah. Because they let one lose. One dude's literally riding the bomb <laughs> yeah. straight to hill. Yep. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> a cowboy hat. And stuff. Yeah, that's an iconic, iconic <laughs> image. <laughs> no, I need to watch that one too because yeah. I like uh, it's because it's a timepiece fucking movie too, especially with everything that was going on at the time. Collection. It really? Probably should, it probably should be. Hey, um, if it's not. Fucking, so. uh, yeah, The Rock. If the Rock could be <laughs> in, that's got to be it. Yeah. Should we even bring up Eyes Wide Shut? Oh, no. no. Yeah, no. I agree. We can move on from that. I like it's a great reference to TV shows. It's like, oh, yeah, we're going to this like Eyes Wide Shut type party. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he did another movie with Kirk Douglas. I can't remember. I think it was the game? before Spartacus. The game? Um, no, not Mike. That's Michael Douglas, and that was David Fincher. Yeah. That's um, but um, Kubrick, it was a war movie. Um, God, can't remember what it's called now. I should probably look it up. But that's a really good one too. But, oh, you talking about with, uh, with with Kirk Douglas? You said yeah, yeah, yeah. Show him. No, I know, uh, it's, no I don't know. it's really it's good. Bad, yeah. It's bad when you name all like twenty three <laughs> other fucking things and it's just like this one thing. Uh huh. It's not happening. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it happens. It like, happens. Kirk Douglas, uh, Stan Kubrick movie. Yeah, and it's not Spartacus. <laughs> all right, uh, movie. Paths of Glory. Yes. Yes. Oh yeah. That's thank I, you. I, I, yeah, it's the same plot as Show. Thank you, Young Jamie. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, that's that's about a desertion and how fucking shitty things are. Yeah, so he's he's done some good movies, but yeah, Eyes Wide Shut is not one of them. No. <laughs> so. But it's still one of those movies you can't unsee. Yeah, yeah, you got. You the, can unsee it. You just burn your fucking eyes. Out. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess Hanks and Kidman were were husband and wife at that time. I guess. Cruise I don't know. Kid, yeah. Or yeah, Cruise, Cruise. Yeah, I mean, I said Hanks. They were, which makes yeah. it even weirder. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it does. <laughs> It certainly does. My mom loves those fucking Mission Impossible movies yeah, so I much. Have, I've only they're seen the fun, first one. Fun to watch. So. Yeah, popcorn flicks. Yeah, they're exactly. supposed to be fun. Yeah. So. I, I want to say I saw one in theaters yeah. around the same time. Like, there, Wasn't there one that came out around the same time the first Transformers movie came out? I think so. Yeah, that was like when they were trying to get it out of that uh, mi- the second Mission Impossible where it was like new metal as fuck for lack of a better term or a better <laughs> phrase. <laughs> and then you had the third one with... Uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman was the bad guy. Yeah, oh, really? yeah, uh, yeah. Because he was wild. Because he was like, he was about to kill the dude's wife, and he was like, "Holy shit!" That's how they opened it with him, like, with a gun to dude's uh, dude's wife. Yeah, the only it's time, like, yeah, they're gonna kill this bitch. Like, <laughs> like, the only thing they do to sell these movies, like, anytime they come out, is like, "Look what Tom Cruise is doing yeah. this time." Watch right? him hang onto a C one thirty as it goes as it climbs <laughs> fifteen hundred <laughs> feet per second. And Watch like, him break his ankle jumping over a building. <laughs> Goddamn, so. Tom Cruise! Here's my ten dollars. Jesus, <laughs> fine, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> I love how he, like uh, the the newest one. The ghost, pro- I think it's like Ghost Protocol or something, Rogue Nation, or whatever. Yeah, they did sh- like he does show like, hey, I am getting old. Yeah, because his Cause fucking he, cause leg he, is like, yeah, because he drops on a roof and he fucking like he lands funny and he's like, fuck. And Henry Cavill is the other guy that's with him. I guess playing Superman, this jacked motherfucker, yeah, yeah. and he's just like. You can't keep up with this new guy. He's, mm. he's Superman. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. And so, then they get that bathroom fight scene, and just like, I feel bad for Tom Cruise because he's going to get his ass kicked by this Superman with a mustache. Yeah. <laughs> and wasn't that the, uh, wasn't that the one where apparently they won out money wise? Yes, and that's for the why. Justice League? Yes. yes. <laughs> that was so, that was so off putting. I remember seeing that in the theater and that, that iPhone shot or whatever, yes. the kids, and like his the upper lip. It was just, I was like, what the? <laughs> it's so what bad. What is this? It's that one. So. And, uh, I I think the other reshot scene where he still had the mustache is when he was in the middle of the field. Yeah, okay. and uh, he was talking with uh, yeah. who? Who is he talking to? The his mom, his girlfriend. No, it was oh, like, his, she's okay. in a corn. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it was. Yeah, and when he turned around and was like talking, it's like his upper lip was yeah. so fucking. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> that's why I can't weird. watch that fucking extended cut because I just don't. Get, that took me out no of the movie to. immediately. Yeah, I have yeah. no you have no the time to, to watch that yeah. fucking movie. Four hours. Jesus Fuck that. Christ, that's half a shift. Yes, true. Too If I'm gonna watch four hours, I'm gonna watch all. Lord of the Rings. Yeah. 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 Well, see, they fucked up because it's like they, they released all that, but then it's like in the day and age of YouTube reviewers, what did my ass do? All the differences between the Snyder Cut and original yeah. Justice League. And I watched the 30 minute video yeah. where they explained all the differences and the alternate endings. And I'm like, cool, mm. you saved me six hours. <laughs> Thank <Yeah>. you. <laughs> yeah. Tom Cruise is going to be 60 next year. Yeah, you can't fucking sell him like you know beating the two twice his size and or some just, shit like, like that. Hey, in another like, movie. Was it, 
two <laughs> years ago try to jump start into a new franchise with the Universal Monsters. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> did anyone see that Mummy Flick? I, did. I, I, I didn't. didn't. Yeah, I didn't. neither did I. I knew it was terrible. Gonna be, I knew yeah. it was going to be. I watched it ass. <laughs> I watched uh, apparently, they tried to <laughs> shoehorn in like sequels, like a motherfucker at the they end. They tried to go to yeah. Universe very quickly, and it's stupid. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. like they, they put in like a whole bunch of like nods at the end, like they had like a Nosferatu skull mm, yeah. and shit like they that. Had, uh, yeah, they had uh, a call to Frankenstein or Bride of Frankenstein. Yeah, they had his book. They had Doctor Frankenstein's book. Mm-hmm. Uh, Russell Crowe was supposed to be like Doctor Jekyll. And, he is. Yeah, yeah. He is. He's Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde. Yeah. And he goes like, and like, Russell Crowe is a method actor, and he's fucking massive. Like people don't realize how big he is, and yeah. it's like he did not work out for this movie. Yeah. And you think a guy like that would work out to be Doctor Jack or Mister Hyde? Yeah. I want to see his new Road Rage movie. That is, that is a terrible <laughs> fucking movie, bro. I'm sure it is, but it looks oh like it's fun. Oh my god, it makes no goddamn sense. He follows a woman yeah. for four counties, yeah. like because he has road rage, and it's like eventually you're just going to cool down. Like eventually you're just going to cool down. But just the large man coming at you, just he's, just, his he's car weird, and he's all fat. Oh now. It's not like Russell Crowe from like no, no, not Gladiator. Gladiator. Yeah. <laughs> he's all fat yeah. now. It's like sad to watch that he's in a pickup truck trying to kill a woman. Nice guys, <laughs> great movie. Huh? So, nice, the nice guys. That was a good movie. That was a great movie. Yeah, that he's was really like, good. Does he not, if I give you, I, like I watch nice guys, but I don't remember yeah. anything that happens. Okay. In it. Oh, he's yeah. like, he's like, I think I can make it. And fucking, <laughs> <laughs> he's getting, they're getting shot at a car show, and he's like. I think I'm invincible. No, 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 no. He's, not, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's running from car to car. He's like getting shot at. He's like, oh my God. I think I'm invincible now. <laughs> yeah, if you Google fucking like present day Russell Crowe, he's fat as shit now. Look yeah, at him. Yeah, holy I love that beard fuck. right there. Though. Oh, I know it. <laughs> he just looks like a more upset Dick Cheney. Uh, <laughs> Gladiator was great. He had his run, a beautiful mind. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had a lot of good movies. Oh, so. look at this one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, Ron Swanson in this photo. Like a, a Ron Swanson just no, hung over shit. Yeah, that's a fat Ron Swanson. Yeah, Cap, you're going to have to post those on the Discord <laughs> after the fact so people know what we're talking about uh-huh. on the audio uh-huh. medium. <laughs> God, uh, yeah, pointing it? around the world. Where's that pussy cancer? <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> oh yeah, South Park's Russell yes. Crowe yeah. fighting the world. Hey, Where's Tuggy. that pussy cancer? <laughs> hey, you... Tuggy. <laughs> hey, t- it's t- it was Tugger. Tugger. Tugger the tugboat. Tugger. Yeah, that's right. Here's a new song from my new album. <laughs> no, 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 don't do it. And he kills himself. <laughs> yes. yes, I think he actually does have a band. Or yeah, he, he did. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 I that don't know like, what the hell they're called though. That was so. an era where like a lot of like A listers were like trying to start bands. Keanu had that like dog star. Keanu Reeves yeah. was the other one I was yeah. thinking of. Yeah. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. Ranch. did a record. Really? Yeah, yeah. And he's like a crooner. Uh-huh. He's like a good one too. I was gonna say because yeah. he actually does have a decent voice, yeah. but that just immediately made me think of like all uh, the other actors that yeah. have tried their hand oh, at God, music. Ventures has a band. Oh no shit. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he tried it on the like promoting on that app that he had for like two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, Bruce Willis, the ultimate uh, harmonica man, back in like the yeah. early nineties, like playing at Hollywood. Like, yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, Alex had turned me on to a series, uh, Mr. Sunday Movies, mm. and I just watched one. They were talking about speaking of terrible action movies, the GI Joe franchise. I watched all those. Oh, the never, never watched them. But uh, yeah. Bruce Willis shows up in the fourth, in the second movie. <laughs> Because he shows up in everything now. Yeah. Every red box movie yeah, he's in. Box, he always shows up. If it's for two if you can buy him for two dollars, yeah. he's in it. Yeah. But he always like secretly just sneaks the fuck in. Yeah. Him and, and Liam Neeson know. But uh, so. he was like in the uh, they were talking about why he's not in the other expendable movies, uh-huh. the other action franchises. Yeah, like because yeah. Sylvester Stallone just wanted him to show up for like thirteen minutes in the movie. Yeah. And he wanted and he was gonna give him three million dollars. Yeah. And he's like, no, I want four. And Sylvester's like, oh, you fuck a piece of shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah, basically. Like, yeah. he gets he has to get paid, like, what, a million a day or some shit like yeah. that at the very least? Yeah. And, like, there's, like, for Not 13... like he needs it. No. So. No. Yeah. But, I mean, also, if you're Sylvester Stallone, I feel like you can also kind of go, yeah, I'm a, I'm a million a day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but also, like, making the movie and this fucking piece of shit over here, yeah. like, Bruce Willis is just, like, nickel and diamond you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know, yeah. You, were you in Cobra, piece of shit? No, you weren't <laughs> yeah. in Cobra, were you? I was. He was in Die Hard with a Vengeance, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> was he in Rambo? <laughs> For every Bruce Willis movie, there's a better Stallone movie. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> That's funny. No, I didn't hate. I didn't hate a lot of Bruce Willis movies though. Oh, the we're early ones are so good. We're talking about fucking uh, Michael uh, Michael Bay movies. Like, oh, yeah. oh, Armageddon, yeah, yeah Armageddon. Movies. Like, that's like twenty some odd years like, old Michael now. Bay, like, but I heard a story of Ben Affleck. He's like, wouldn't it just be easier to train astronauts to do like? Yeah, he yeah, told the, the to commentary. Yes. Oh that's my so god, good. that's the best thing ever. And that's another. That's yeah. another cast. It's gonna be hard to you. you 
kind of like Con Air. It's hard to fucking put together. It's Bruce yeah. Willis, Steve Buscemi, Ving Rhames. Yeah. Um, Billy Bob? Yeah, he's Billy one Bob of the, he's one the, Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, he's, he's the, yeah, he's he's the NASA government guy. engineer. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's the guy. Yeah, he's yeah. the yeah. NASA guy. Yeah. <laughs> Billy Bob Thornton, the man with two names, <laughs> is the head of fucking NASA. <laughs> and you're just like, First God name, damn. Billy Bob. <laughs> Billy Bob. <laughs> the guy who really fucked Halle Berry, I will say. He did fuck her in that movie. Huh. So, that was not a movie. That was a porno. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hell of a story. Hell of a story. <laughs> This one we do watch for the dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> that was that era where like there were like two of everything. Like Armageddon, uh, there was Armageddon, there was Deep Impact. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, it was, it was the stacking impact. age. Yeah. Yeah. Because you, there would always be another movie just like it yeah. on the horizon. Like, See, there was one uh, that came out a few all years ago. Series that came yeah, disaster movies. Yeah. There's one that came out a few years ago where it was called Olympus Has Fallen that uh, And then uh where a uh, Forrest Whitaker is the president? <laughs> no, no, no. Olympus is Fallen is uh, Jamie Foxx. Jamie Foxx. That's oh, yeah. what it was. Uh, I don't know why White I House thought Forrest Whitaker. No, 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 no. White House Down. White House Down had Morgan Freeman? No, no. Uh, sorry. Deep Impact it. had Morgan Freeman, didn't it? God yeah. damn it. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Zeus from White House, uh, White House, <laughs> from right, White House Down. Element. White House Down is Channing Tatum, Jamie Foxx. Olympus is Fallen is Gerard Butler. And Morgan Freeman. Hey, okay. there you go. Right. So Morgan and Freeman was, was the president. <laughs> so Morgan Freeman was the president. No, he was oh, he Secretary of State. Secretary, right. Still, he was, he, was in the, he was in the White House in two disaster movies. Yep. Yeah, he's the, always... He's Dante's always, Inferno and then... Uh, Volcano. Volcano, yeah. <laughs> I can't remember which one had Tommy Lee or which one had Pierce Bronson. Uh, but. Yeah, but Pierce, Pierce, <laughs> see, Pierce Brosnan was in Volcano and... No, wait, he was in Dante's Peak. Okay. Because we had Dante's Peak. We didn't have Volcano. Volcano, okay. Tommy yeah. Volcano was Tommy Lee Jones yeah. and uh, that weird crazy bitch. Uh, yeah. The one who, uh, who might be a sexual assault. <laughs> Good person. And, <laughs> and, then, like, and then later they had like twenty twelve. And, and, and oh, the crazy the day after tomorrow. Oh, yeah, day after tomorrow. That was a good movie. Yeah. I love that movie. Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And all them. I think uh, Wyatt Earp came out the same time as uh, Tombstone. Any movie with Jake yeah. Gyllenhaal is going to be weird. He's just a weird actor. Dude, <laughs> Nightcrawler. Oh, oh God, that yes. Movie? That movie was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I really yeah. like that. Movie. I like how it, like, yeah. it got weird. Yeah. When he went into that house where all the murder victims were, and he's just like. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that was the newscaster <laughs> guy yeah. movie. Yeah, 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 that, yeah, that was. Dude, but, I watched that movie one time at like one o'clock at night, and that yeah. fucked me yeah. up. I was like, oh it's a my weird one. God. I remember when I, first watched, when I first watched that movie, and after that scene, hey, wait a minute, I saw a movie. Not <laughs> 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 But, uh, but uh, it was the scene where he's in that fucking uh, that charger he's got that red charger, and he's got yeah. his cameraman with him, mm-hmm. and he gets that cell phone out, and there's cops. Or to, uh, yeah, there's these black guys that are in the fucking restaurant or in like the little diner, and he calls the cops saying the place is being robbed, and he basically facilitates. Yeah, a he creates stuff. Yeah, and it's like God, yeah. yeah Renee Russo's in it. Yeah, and what was funny when I was watching that movie, that was right around the same time as when I started really paying attention to like quote unquote not what the presidency the last few years was calling fake news, but actual mm-hmm. fake news, mm-hmm. and like how media can twist things around and totally. this and the they have the ability to. So it's like I was really starting to become more consciously aware of that, mm-hmm. and then I watched that movie, and I'm like, oh my god, it's all everywhere. Birds, man, birds. <laughs> birds. fucking birds. <laughs> They're controlled by the Sunday trash bin. <laughs> That's what happens in that fucking Hitchcock movie. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> well, if that's not a wrap altogether, I don't know what has, man. Seriously, Paul, thank you so much for coming no, thank on. Thank you guys so much that. for having me. I really well, appreciate it. I feel like we're gonna have to do this again and again for just specific Come topics. Back for October, man. I, I enjoy it. Oh yeah, yeah we'll, dude, we'll yeah. have you on for yeah. a horror episode. Hell I think yeah. that'd be great. That'd be great. Awesome. Hell thank yes. you guys. So, so no, seriously, thank you for being on. And Cap, Chris, do you have a, any sort of final thoughts for us? You guys need to watch more fucking movies, bro. <laughs> like, put those fucking guitars down. Get some real goddamn jobs. <laughs> and try to keep up. <laughs> keep up, my